Hello. When upgrading to the to the V3 uh, charge pipes, uh, there's a, a few notes that I would like you to have. Uh, first of all, the position and orientation of this uh, this pipe. Now the um, the rubber will will hold the the flange that will hold the blow off valve. Uh, in this position. Uh, you want to make sure that um, you orient this in such a way that this doesn't hit the bonnet, you know, and uh, a good uh, a good way to check that is that it's just around about the same level as, as the, as the um, fuel metering unit. Um, also, you have to, to check with this part that they kind of fit together, um, you know, uh, before clamping them. Um, one aspect regarding uh, this connection, make sure that this thing is really tight because the oval design of the throttle bodies are, is, you know, prone to allowing slip in the middle. Uh, so this thing must be really tight, this, this clamp. If you have a larger throttle body, uh, like, like me, um, assembling this over that will be a bit more difficult um, because, uh, yeah, the, this part is, let's say, sized and designed to fit both the original throttle body and the bigger, uh, the upgraded one, all right? And Basically, just start by by putting the boot, uh, making sure that it's it's over the lip, down below and in the back, and use a dull screwdriver to just uh, help it get over on uh, on the on the top. All right, and then after that, you can uh, make sure that this connection is is right and this connection is right. Now, one other very important aspect is. Uh, this bit there you see this is the housing of the thermostat or the cap of the housing of the thermostat and it has these these tabs right these are probably uh there because um i don't know um casting or some some technical thing and if you see that tab there is very close to the to this uh, to this pipe now uh, if you don't tighten this properly or even if you do tighten them properly it may be that uh, in the first uh, oh, I don't know minutes or, or hours of operation um, they may, may slip until they the, the silicone will will um, attach itself to the to the aluminium pipe here and in here as well so both the fact that um, the the parts may migrate a few millimeters and that the fact that uh, you're going to you know they're just just rubber bits you're not going to place them millimeter perfect um, the issue is that that you can get uh, contact between that tab there and the um, the rubber boot and you know if this vibrates you're just gonna eat into the into the boot and make a hole in it so f as a general rule pay attention to uh, these parts clearing that bit and staying on proper and uh, being properly oriented and second uh, i'm gonna do this as well on my car just file that thing off please okay so just like that i haven't done it yet but but I will do it very soon. So yeah, the V3 upgrade.